Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. We're out here. We're in nature, chillaxing. Someone wrote in asking how to achieve goals. They want to start attracting with their mind. And I'm going to share with you 12 secrets to attract anything mentally with your mind. Because this seems to be on the top of the list of what a lot of people are thinking right now. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> so I've actually done it. I wake up every single day seeing what I once thought about now right before me. And it feels amazing. Just a small seed, one small thought, I'm living the dream. But it hasn't always been easy. And I'm going to share with you what I learned along my journey. 12 secrets to attract anything, anything, anything with your mind. We've got a lot to talk about. The first secret I learned was this. You have to know your design. I see time and time again, many people say, I want this, I want that. But were you designed for that? Slow motion this side. Mm. Peacocks wanting to be gorillas and gorillas wanting to be peacocks. It's not going to happen. So for so long, I was like, I want this. I want that. No, I can't have it because I wasn't designed to have it. It's not about attracting anything with your mind. It is about attracting your greatest potential. Slow motion this side. And that is what people who have attracted <laughs> with their mind realize. They know their needs. You have to know your needs. What did I come here to do? What was I designed to do on this planet? And I found it because one day I just realized I was talking to a friend for five hours and I still had energy. I love talking. I love being in nature. I love waking up every single day knowing I can do whatever I want. Go to the beach, go hiking. But I honor my design. And that's why I have attracted anything with my mind because I am attracting what I know I already have. It's not about saying I want, it's about visualizing yourself already having it. The second secret I learned along my journey was this. Words are everything. In a lot of ancient texts, they talk about how in the beginning was the word. Word is bond. Whatever you say, you become. What is the most powerful statement? I was, I am, or I will be. Which one? Think about it. <laughs> I used to think it was, I will be. Then I used to actually think, wait a minute. I was so great once. No, I am is the most powerful statement because I am pulls you back into the present moment. It allows you to attract. If you say I am good enough, you start behaving like you are. If you say I was good enough once, you now start to doubt yourself. If you say, I will be good enough in five years. What are you doing right now? But distracting yourself from your highest potential. So I always am very mindful with the words I use. I say, I am 
amazing, I am, all of these uplifting words now start helping me create my reality, start helping me attract my highest potential. Seven Day Vegan Challenge. There was a time when I used to reach into my pockets and there was nothing there but pieces of paper of me writing, there is nothing in here. Stop reaching in here. <laughs> I learned a secret. You can actually eat like a billionaire. And it's really simple. Because just think if you are a billionaire, what do billionaires eat? Maybe some beautiful organic tomatoes. Well, I've got news for you. They aren't that expensive. You can go to the farmer's market, get the most delicious tomatoes in the world, get the most delicious mangoes in the world, get the most delicious guavas in the world. You can eat like the richest man alive, like the richest woman alive, and then you start to realize, oh, I get it now. Health is wealth. Have you Googled the price of a heart attack? I used to work in a hospital. It's expensive. A lot of people, when it comes to splurging on healthy organic food, that's the time, so conveniently, they don't have money. Oh, it's too expensive. Wait till you see these medical bills. <laughs> so I started to attract anything with my mind by not being so stingy when it came to eating amazing plant-based foods. I invest in my health. I don't care if it's $100, I'm gonna buy it. Why? Because health is wealth. By me eating that hemp, I am going to attract abundance because I'm going to feel so recharged, so energized, and so revitalized. Health is wealth. It starts with the diet. We attract what we eat. Junk in, junk out. <laughs> wellness in, wellness out. A different mindset. That's the fourth secret I learned along my journey. You see, so much is floating in our minds. A lot of us, we have goals, we have dreams, we have aspirations, and then we see that we haven't even tidied up our room. I said, do away with goals for me. It was more about creating a theme and when I first started to share with the world, I said, I want to woo, breathe in that good ass prana every single day, come into nature, do whatever I want. That was the theme. My goal wasn't to inspire millions of people. No, it was only to have fun doing what I was doing. And that's still happening. A different mindset happens when you realize the secret to becoming your greatest version is when you have thoughts which are allowing. When you have thoughts which are allowing, you allow greatness to take shape. If you have thoughts which prevent you from becoming your greatest version, it's gonna be hard. You see, so many of us, we have thoughts, we have thoughts which go against us. We have thoughts which go against us, we got distractions. Some people were just walking along there. But my thoughts, which are allowing, is like, <laughs> we got a video to do. We got the birds out, and it's a beautiful day. You can't stop the rain. Slow motion this side. And you can't stop the sunshine. It's a mindset. Change your thoughts, and you change your world. We've heard this time and time again. How do we do it? I started to realize this. It's a choice. This thought says, I can do it. And this one says, I can't do it. Most people say, I can't do it. And they wonder why they can't do it. <laughs> Some people 
haven't done it yet, but they say I can do it. Thoughts create reality, a subjective reality. They influence us in ways unimaginable. So it starts with a different mindset. To have a different mindset, you have to start thinking differently. If you are thinking like how everybody else is thinking, you will only go as far as them. You don't want to be lost in the crowd. It's no fun. And that was me along my early journey. Just thinking what everyone else was thinking, my life wasn't going anywhere. Then I realized it was because I was not able to think outside of that limited mindset. To become more expansive in the way you think, you have to begin to allow more expansive thoughts, which means you have to begin to change your focus, your attention, but more so what you are tuning into. I started to read more, got a mentor, researched around what it was I wanted to do. I studied the lives of highly successful people. Then I realized what made them attract that amazing life for themselves was their mindset. They thought differently. Everybody around them told them they couldn't do it. And that's why they did. Slow motion this side. Mm. They had perseverance, determination, consistency, but more so passion because passion is the catalyst which helps us manifest our true desires. Okay? And look at it like this, that thoughts can take you to places you have never gone before. But thoughts aren't enough. I realize, which I'll come to later, you need action. Radical action. <laughs> the fifth secret to attract anything with your mind, what's helped me along my journey, is priming. Now, as a psychologist, as a criminologist, as an infinite being, as a vegan, all labels, by the way. I'm just an invisible being with birds up there. Priming is how to attract anything with your mind. It is how to attract your highest potential. What is priming? Priming, for example, I'll give you an example of priming. Think of a green crayon right now. Got it? Great. Think of a green flower. Great. Now think of a fruit. You've thought of a fruit? Thought of a fruit? Great. What is it? Avocado. Fantastic. How did I know it? Because our mind, our subconscious mind, puts things in categories, sometimes according to colors, shapes, sizes, right? It links things together. So think of the yellow sun, think of a fruit, you probably say banana subconscious associations. So how to use priming in a very practical way, how I started to do it was, I remember a long time ago, walking into a bookshop and it was before I had written my books, I was starting out, I said, give me the best pen you have. They gave me a Parker pen, okay? All of a sudden, I had even more passion to start writing. Because I was priming my subconscious through this pen that I have the best pen in the world, which will mean I will write the best book in the world. Slow motion this side. Turquoise. This is priming. Turquoise is a symbol of royalty, prosperity, good fortune. So every day, every single day, when I look in the mirror, I see this turquoise. It reminds me of 
that I can do anything and I can attract anything. Subconsciously, because some certain times you just walk past the mirror and trip up on all of those clothes you need to wash, right? But subconsciously, it goes into the subconscious. Our subconscious mind works through imagery. And that is how to prime your brain. For example, certain people, they've got pictures of their children on their fridge. That primes their subconscious mind to give them a hug every day. Okay. Now, what is number six? What I started to realize along my journey was this. That it is about action radical action <laughs> you're reading you're reading and you're reading and that is fantastic but action is the next step to achieve your goals dreams aspirations you got to start moving your butt most of us don't want to step into radical action we only want to talk about it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. I don't really talk about what I'm going to do. I just show you the results. I never wanted to be that person who was just talking about, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to just do it. And it's a lot harder just to do it because now you got to go into the trenches. You got to start being creative. You got to put down the books and start testing yourself on what you've learned. Slow motion this side. Radical action is everything in terms of attracting with your mind because thoughts can only take you so far. Certain people, they've never even read books on the law of attraction yet they have attracted everything they need. In essence, they have attracted their highest potential. Number seven, what helped me attract anything? Mentally, I've spoken about the seven hermetic principles, which are mentalism. Everything is mental. Correspondence. How you are feeling inside is what you will attract outside. Polarity. In this universe, you have hot and cold, yin and yang, masculine and feminine. Gender. In everything you see, there is masculine and feminine. Rhythm. Everything has a rhythm to it in this universe. Vibration. Everything is vibrating. Everything is moving. Check out the video on quantum physics. Cause and effect. What we do now echoes on into eternity. Slow motion this side. It goes back to Egypt. To Hootie wrote down those seven hermetic principles. Certain people now refer to them as the Kabbalion. Sacred wisdom that will help you attract with your mind. Because if you don't understand and overstand how the seven hermetic principles work, you will never attract your highest potential. Because we think if I think about something, I will get it. No. There is a rhythm to when you will get it. There is a vibration to when you will get it. And you have to ask yourself, have you put in to get back? Have you planted the seeds to now enjoy the fruits of your labor? We never attract what we want. We always attract what we are. And that's what's helped me along my journey. See, most people who talk about attracting only talk about one principle of the seven hermetic principles. Law of correspondence. Just think about it. No, you forgot about polarity, rhythm, vibration. That's why you can't attract anything. You can only attract 
your highest potential. And it frees you because you stop competing with other people. And then you realize, you realize I am in a league of my own. And that's really how to attract anything with your mind. Number eight, what helped me along my journey was this. Simplicity is everything. So many times in life, we complicate things. We make things more harder than they have to be. And I learned this because there was a time when along my early journey, I was a bit of a perfectionist. I was a bit of a perfectionist. Perfectionism will make you doubt yourself, make you not trust yourself. Give it your best, that's all you can do. But don't hate yourself for it. So I started to realize that simplicity creates efficiency. Efficiency creates productivity. Productivity creates creativity and creativity creates connectivity. Slow motion this side. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Let me repeat that. Simplicity creates efficiency. Efficiency creates productivity. Productivity creates creativity and creativity creates connectivity. So because I started to simplify everything, a practical way to do this is focus on one thing at a time. A lot of us, we have a lot of priorities. We don't have a priority in our life. We don't really know what we want because we don't know our design. You've got to know your design. Focus on that one priority and you will manifest it. What's number nine? What helped me along my journey, baby, is to have concentrated focus. Concentrated focus is everything. You have to know what you are distracted by. I know sometimes I hear a song and I'm like, ah, I'm distracted. <laughs> I'm not going to do what I set out to do today because I'm just listening to a lot of low vibrational music and it's cool. Sometimes you just let yourself go, but don't make it a repetitive day-to-day -day thing you do. You got to know what distracts you. Concentrated focus is where you focus in on what makes your heart smile. Most people don't attract what they want because they're not doing what they love. They know they're not honoring their design because they go to work, they work in places which don't bring them anything. In fact, they work in places which rob their energy, their precious life force. So what helped me get it back? I said I have to come to nature. I have to start rewriting my story. I have to start changing what I think reality is. I began to mold my reality. by concentrated focus. I'm just going to do this today. One thing, don't overwhelm yourself. That's why most people are slipping and sliding and they're not even ice skating. But it looks like it. Whoa! <laughs> Keep it simple. Focus on one thing every single day and you will see how it grows. That's what's helped me along my journey. Wake up in abundance wake up to abundance every single day. I'm living the dream right now. Now, the 10th secret to attract anything mentally, your mind, what's helped me along my journey. You may have some other you may you may have some other secrets. I'm interested to know, right? I've seen the results though. 
is to create as much as you consume. As soon as you wake up, ask yourself, am I just going on the computer or am I just watching the television? You're consuming so much, but what are you creating? Are you working on your business, on your vision, on your dream, on your goal, on your aspiration? Or are you just eating popcorn, watching TV? It's about the law of exchange. You create as much as you consume. That's the perfect equilibrium. That's what's helped me along my journey. I love watching other people's videos. I love supporting people. At the same time, I'm in that process of creation because I know if you don't bear fruit, you will wither away. Slow motion this side, baby. Mm. You have to find a creative space. That's how to create as much as you consume. Find the right environment. That's what's helped me along my journey. I create in nature, I create in feng shui environments where the energy just flows around very freely. What's number 11? Ignore people who don't believe in your dreams. It doesn't mean <laughs> you have to run away from them. But just don't take everything they say to heart. Realize many people project their own version of reality onto you. They say you can't do it because they didn't do it. They missed out. Don't make them make you miss out. They had their time. It's too bad. And along my journey, I was around a lot of people who were saying, it won't work out, just go and do this, get a regular job. And I did, but then I realized I wasn't going anywhere because I was listening too much to people who weren't on the same frequency as me. I started to look at their diet and realize, okay, they don't even care about animals the way I do. So why am I taking advice from them? When you start ignoring people and start listening to yourself, you're well on your way to attracting anything mentally. And number 12, the 12th secret to attract anything mentally is your mind. What helped me was to be around the right energy. And this is where being in a loving relationship is so fantastic. But a loving relationship, not someone who drains your energy, but someone who's there to support you in helping you become your greatest version. A friend who's not there to distract you oh let's go to the club get you drunk and now you're all over the floor get up right but a friend who actually gives you information to help you go to the next level a parent who doesn't discourage you but encourages you to go to the next level it's a choice who we surround ourselves with are you listening to someone who's just talking but they're not giving you anything, telling you how to improve your life. I listened to mentors. I had a mentor and his book was so long, but I knew after reading it, he helped me. The great Omran, okay? He helped me. So my mother helped me, right? She was a mentor. The birds were a mentor. And then I found that I was a mentor to myself by living in my higher nature. And then once you surround yourself with the right energy, friends that encourage you, friends that don't, friends, friends that don't judge you for being you, you get more confidence to actually be yourself, to move in to what we call self-actualization. Slow motion this side. And then you will see, you will naturally attract everything you need when you have a loving partner that encourages you that supports you you go even further than you could ever imagine when you get a friend who doesn't want to hold you back but wants to propel you forward you go further than you could ever imagine 
when you have a parent who encourages you instead of discourages you, you go further than you could ever imagine. And that's why every single day I am getting catapulted into a new frontier because I make sure I'm only going to be around people who have my best interests at hand. I support them. They support me. You don't want a distraction. You don't want someone who says, let's go to the club, gets you drunk. And now you lose focus on your goal, your dream. You want someone who's going to give you information about how to become your greatest version. Someone who's going to be there to inspire you when you doubt yourself. You want someone who's going to remind you there is no such thing as failure. Only stepping stones to help you become your greatest version. Slow motion this side. Mm. You will attract everything you need mentally when you have the right energy around you. Why? Because energy is contagious. And if you are around the right energy every day, you will attract your true heart's desire. And then just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> we are out here in nature. Woo. Breathing in that good ass prana. Have a beautiful day. Infinite walks. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. You. <laughs>